In this video, I'm going to show some of the new features in InfoPath 2010 around rules. One of the big changes in this version is quick rules. Here I have a form with some fields in it. I want to apply a few rules to these fields. Let's say that I want to set a rule that gives a validation error if this expenditure field is blank. On the Properties tab, there is this Add Rule button. I click on it and I get a menu. It lists some of the conditions which are frequently used in setting rules. If I go to Is Blank, I get some options for the actions which could be included in this rule. Now this pane opens down the right hand side. This is for filling out the details, but the details are already there. I have a rule such that if the expenditure field is blank, a validation rule applies, which gives the screen tip that the field can't be blank. That was definitely quick. Next, let's choose this income field. I'll add a rule that fills out a different field when this field is filled out. I choose the option for this field changes. And then I choose to set a field's value. This time I get a window to add details about both the field and the value. I'll choose the profit field. And I'll choose the value to be the income minus the expenditure. Now I'd like to set some formatting rules on this profit field. This time I'll use the Manage Rules pane. Through this pane I can add much more variation and complexity to my rules. I'll choose to add a new rule. I need to decide what type of rule it is and I'll go for formatting. I add a condition which checks whether the value in the profit field is less than or equal to zero. If it is, then the background colour will change to red. I'll add a second rule. This one will check whether it's less than or equal to 100. If it is, it changes the colour to yellow. Then I'll put in a third rule, which changes the colour to green when the value is greater than 100. These rules all apply to the same field, and they will act in the order they're listed. So if I have a profit value of minus 10, the first rule will change the background to red because the number's less than zero. Then the second rule will change the colour because the number's less than a hundred. For these rules to work properly, I have to have the first two the other way round. So what I can do is just click on the arrow next to one of them and choose to move it. This last field is a read-only field which has the same value as the property field. Let's say that I want it to have exactly the same formatting rules as well. In InfoPath 2007, I would have to create the rules all over again for this field. Instead, I can just click on this button, which copies all the rules. Then I select this field and click to paste. So there I have added quick rules to my fields created multiple rules for a field, and then copied rules from one field to another.